What is a scatty icon? What is a scatty icon? Someone everyone knows. Someone who shapes our culture. Umundo Embodies our culture. An untouchable right demigod of pop culture. Well, me. Okay, so you were saying that you didn't expect the reception from your first debut collection, but you wanted people just to leave with a smiling face. You yeah. Saying? And, you know, because my show and my collection, especially myself, I'm very honest and, and I'm an honest person and also I don't take every single moment of my work or my life, I don't take it for granted, you know. And also even like if you look if you if we are talking about like you just ask me about do I dress like this all the time? No. But I'm addressing like this now, yes. Because you know at the end of the day you're talking about college film or other people. It's how we are marketing ourselves because the brand or the label won't happen just like that. If you dress only a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, it's just like how you're going to market yourself in individual industry. Because for me, I wasn't born and bred in this country. And I'm not even South African. My English is like broken English. I couldn't speak Afrikaans or Zulu, or you know. So there might be something or there's some side that I can communicate to my audience and to my follower. That's why I'm just taking fashion, my fashion, and the brand. This is how I'm going to communicate to you. And it seems like people appreciate to that as well. That's how people have to start marketing themselves if they want to, to start their own business or start their own label, or even if they want to be an actor, an artist. It's just like, that's, that's, that's the thing, you know, and also, South Africa is very small. We don't have money to pay the PR to promote you. So that's why I have to promote myself, you know. So you have to like dedicate as well, you know. Dedication is very important, you know. And how you communicate to the audience, very, very important. If you're talking about like democracy, this is how I look at it as well. It's freedom, you know, but how are you going to make it happen? Yeah. You, you're yeah. a brand. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Also, back to the show again. Actually, what I really want after the show is I want my show to inspire everybody. I want my show to inspire the audience. I want my show to inspire my customers and the young designers. That's, 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 that's what I want. Yeah. Right. That's exactly why we're doing these videos is, is, is to do that, to inspire. Um, we're going to first, I'd love to talk about the knitwear because that's what yeah. I'm really excited about. Um, you were, we were speaking to Gavin Raja and he was saying that he doesn't believe a lot of designers help each other. And I think sharing your story of how your network came about is, is quite special. Uh, okay, you mentioned about Gavin Raja, mentioning about people helping each other together. For me, as I mentioned in the beginning, that uh, another main reason why if I'm going to do my own design or my own range in South Africa, my collection is going to be all about celebrating Africa. In whichever direction, it doesn't matter because every season, each season is going to be different. But whatever I'm doing is going to be celebrating Africa, inspired by South Africa, locally, street style. And another thing is, I always believe that you can't make success of yourself on your own. Like for example, at the first show, I invite uh, Dean from Simon and Mary, a millionaire, and uh, Skinny Spoo Socks, he's a sock designer from Pretoria, and uh, yo, what's her name now? She's gonna kill me. Erika, she's jewelry designer, rings and things. That's what I believe, you know, I always want to collaborate with South African creator, or even one day I might be doing with you, musician, we do some show together, you know. That's what I always want to do it. Especially like those young kids who got, who's very talented, but they need opportunity. That's what I want to work with those kids as well. Because, you know, people, th people always say it like, it's like meeting the right people at the right time. 
sometimes it's true, but sometimes it's not true. But you have to make the effort as well, you know. Because I got like a lot of followers, you know, start on Twitter and now on Instagram. And I don't follow everyone, but they might think like, oh, because I don't care. No, I do care. But the reason why I don't follow everybody is because I'm not always on Instagram. Yeah. I can follow every, every single person, but when I'm on Instagram, I got no clue what you guys are talking because I'm not going to go back to another thousand Instagram. You know what I mean? And those young followers who's been following me, I know exactly like who they are. Like Skinny Smooth Socks, he's been following me on, on, into, on Twitter like the last, I think, three or four years. That's why I thought like, okay, this is, this is the right time for Skinny Spoo, for, for Spoo yeah. to join me now. So he, we decide to sock together. I brief him. He just do it just, just like that. That just makes you just want to scream and kick and say, do it different or do... Not at all. Not at all? No. You know what is it? Even I'm talking, I'm talking as I'm a media, not a fashion designer. Nothing frustrating me. You know, I respect everybody's work, you know. Everybody tries to survive in their own way, you know. I think when the people frustrating or some media frustrating, like, why are you doing this? Why? I think, you know, like you're taking a little bit too far, you know. You have to look at that designer, like who they are or what is their market they're aiming at, you know. You know, you have to be fair, you know. Yeah. And it's become very prima donna, you know, just respect those designers as long as they know what they're doing. You don't like it, it's okay. But they're selling their stuff. You know, you know, you you have designers in this country, in South Africa, it's a very small market, you know. You have to you have to survive, you know. You can't just be everything like directional all the time, you know, because they think about how they're going to sell it. I understand. But when it's come to the show, sometimes you know I say like, oh we see that before. But they know they're going to be selling it. But at the same time, they should step out of the box a little bit, you know, like, okay, 20 looks. We put it as a top triangle. Give us some of the 10% of top triangle, pushing the boundary, you know. And the rest you can do commercial. At least give us some excitement, you know. Because the show is about entertaining the audience, you know. You know what I mean? Because everybody go there because they respect you. You know what I mean? So if you are a designer, just make the effort a little bit, you know. I think that's, yeah. Um, these videos are about icons. Yeah. What do you think is an icon or what makes an icon? For my opinion, uh, I know you're not asking me who is my icon. No, uh, yeah. Icon? No, just like for example, uh, I don't believe in an icon. For me, I like almost everybody. As I said, you know, I respect everybody. Everybody works, everybody styles, you know. You don't have to dress to kill. And for me, the icon for me should be a nice person. That person doesn't have to be like dressed well all the time. For me, that's, that's more important. It's about like, if that person sincere to you, that's my icon. Not by, wow, you're wearing Vivian Westwood, John Galliano. I don't care, you know what I mean? You can afford it, good for you, you know? But do you, are you a good person? For me, that's more important, you know? Because I mean, in this, I mean, this time, this year of the big world in Africa, not easy to find someone like very sincere, you know, or honest to you, or give you a good advice, a good suggestion. But sometimes it seems like everybody's just doing their own thing. It's about themselves, you know what I mean?